Hi student, in the 8th class of Principles of Inheritance and Variations. Okay, in last class we have discussed about Mendelian principles and Mendelian inheritance like monohybrid class, dihybrid class and the law of inheritance. Law of dominance, law of segregation, law of independent assortment. These are the these are the interpretation was proposed by Mendel and all these proposal was submitted or published by Mendel in 1865 the plant hybridization paper but on that time okay no one can recognize the Mendelian work okay why the Mendel works are remain unrecognized because some reason will be there I'll discuss the reason for that unrecognition of Mendelian work. The first reason is on that time in 1865, on that time communication was not easy because on that time there is no mass media like TV, paper, newspapers. Okay, only publication occurred through journal papers. Okay. And on that time, communication is not easy. It is one of the major drawback for Mendelian work. Okay. Second point is mathematical approach was new and unacceptable because basically Mendel, Mendel was of the mathematician because of that reason he introduced some mathematical logics and statistics in biology. He used ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 okay the mathematical approach can unacceptable okay some biologists or some botanists they are not convinced with that mathematical approach it is also one of the drawback next the concept of factors Mendel is called as a factor but later is called as genes it's a stable and discrete unit could not explain continuous variation seen in the nature. Mendel says that a factor have transferred from one generation to the another generation, but these variations are not seen in the nature. For example, Mendel says in F1 progeny, okay, is exactly similar either one of the parents. These type of variation cannot be seen in all organisms, especially animals or human beings. In human beings, the children are not exactly similar of either one of the parents. They have shows variation. And it is also one of the major drawback. The last one, he could not give any physical proof for existence of factor. He simply says that factor is present, is transferred from one generation to the another generation. Is he did not give any proof or physical evidence for presence of factor, where they present, how they transferred. Okay? Because of all these reasons, the Mendel work was unrecognized up to 1900. Okay? Mendel was died in 1884. Okay? After he died, after 16 years. The Mendelian work was rediscovered by three scientists Hugo Davis, Carl Torrens, and Erich von Schirmack. The three scientists have independently rediscovered the Mendelian work or Mendelian principle and conclude the same principles or same laws. Okay, after this work, Mendel is honored as a father of genetics. Okay, these are the Mendelian rediscovered work. Next, after the Mendelian rediscovery in 1902, the two scientists, Walter Sutton and Theodore Boveri, the two scientists have proposed the chromosomal theory of inheritance. Okay, use the word chromosome. Because these two scientists are basically work on cell division because on that time microscope are well developed by using the microscope you study the cellular content and how the cell will divide during that time of cell division how the chromosomes or which factor will transfer which factor will segregate these are the factors studied by Walter Sutton and Theodore Boveri on that time he proposed chromosomal theory of inheritance and he said that Pairing 
and separation of chromosome leads to segregation of factor or segregation of pair genes. Means a gene will segregate it through chromosomal segregation during the time of cell division. And the Sutton said that chromosome, the united chromosomes are segregation with Mendelian principle. He also proposed the same Mendelian principle. Chromosomes also segregated. Okay, as it is as if that Mendel, Mendel principles, as they call as chromosomal theory of inheritance. Okay, first you know about the chromosome. What do you mean by chromosome? Chromosome, chromo means color. Chromo means color, so means body. Colored bodies. Okay, when you observe the nucleus or a cell in a microscope, within the nucleus, some bodies have take some stain or color. That structure are called as colored bodies or chromosome. Right? What is the constituent of chromosome? Okay, which material or what material present in the chromosome? Chromosome are mainly consists DNA. A tightly packing of DNA present within the chromosome. Okay, cell within the cell are consist nucleus. That nucleus are consist chromosome. Chromosome is made up of by DNA. In that DNA, the particular sequence is called for a particular gene. That means genes are present on the chromosome okay when the chromosome will segregate the gene will also segregate this is the complete package of chromosome look at the picture first of all, the chromosome the chromosome will pack it by a, a linear thread of dna chain okay this is the structure of dna the DNA happens in particular sequence, nucleotide sequence. First period we have studied the nucleotides and nucleosides. Okay, nitrogen based sequence. That sequence, the particular sequence is a code for particular gene. Hence the genes are present on the chromosome. Okay, chromosomes are present within the nucleus. During the time of cell division, nucleus will also divide. Along with nucleus, chromosome will also divide. That time of division, the character will segregate or genes will separate. Okay, coming to the chromosome of the area of inheritance, he said first point, chromosomes are the vehicles of heredity. Chromosomes are called as a vehicles. Vehicle means is one of the machine will carry from one region to another region. As it is saying the chromosome, they have carry genes from one generation to the another generation. And the chromosome is called as vehicles of heredity. Nothing but they have carry genes from one generation to another generation. Next, the two identical chromosome form a homologous pair. Okay, in all living organisms, they have shown diploid condition. Diploid means to end, pair of homologous chromosome. During the time of fertilization, sperm and ova, these are the gametes. To the sperm, this is the ova or egg. They have fused to form a diploid zygote. Okay, they have maintained a diploid condition in progeny. But sperm have also considered chromosome, ova they have also considered chromosome, but they have single allele. Okay, when during the time of zygote, they have paired one, just imagine is the one allele or one chromosome coming from the sperm, is the another chromosome coming from the ova. They have paired to form a homologous condition. Homologous condition is called as a diploid condition. Look at the picture. First one is paternal chromosome coming from the father. Another one is maternal coming from the mother. They have two chromosomes are paired to form a homologous chromosome. Then these chromosomes undergo replication. Undergo replication and increase their content to form a bivalent stage. Bivalent stage. Look at the, these pictures. In homologous pair, segregate during the gamete formation. These 
progeny will develop this progeny uh, produce gametes through meiosis cell division this cell division meiosis cell division to produce haploid gamete same at the time of gamete formation the homologous pair will be segregated okay first one look at the picture this is the pair of homologous chromosome first one these orange and green they have came from father side yellow and red these two chromosome came from mother side these two are the homologous structurally same chromosome these chromosome present in g1 stage g1 means gap one it is one of the stage in cell cycle in first video we have studied the cell cycle stages g1 phase s phase g2 phase then m phase in g1 phase they have conceived homologous pair but in g2 stage it converted to bivalent bivalent means they have increased their content chromatin content they increase again because in between g1 and g2 phase s phase is present s means synthesis phase in that phase replication will occur they have increased the dna content then they enter into m phase mitotic phase in that phase the division of cell or segregation of chromosome will occur first meiosis first anaphase before the anaphase in metaphase all the chromosomes are lies in the equatorial plane at the end of the metaphase the chromosomes start to segregate they are moving in opposite pole okay and then in anaphase the chromosome will be segregated separated and in meiosis second anaphase second each allele have separated and deposited in each gametes okay look at the picture first pair the chromosome in yellow color chromosome pair with a red color orange color pair with a green color as it is same in gametes yellow color pair with a red orange color pair with a green says the segregation of chromosome separation of chromosome are nothing but a law of segregation law of segregation due to the time of gamete formation is a diploid cell last one is the haploid cell through meiosis cell division the diploid cell are produced haploid gametes next fourth point in chromosomal theory of inheritance independent pairs segregate independently it means the law of independent assortment okay in that picture i have shown two possibilities possibility 1 and possibility 2 in possibility 1 observe the picture first the orange color chromosome pair with a green color yellow color pair with a red color but in possibility 2 orange color pair with a red yellow color pair with a green okay the pairing exchange are there but as it is seen in meiosis cell division the chromosome will be segregated and assorted independently in first possibility orange color pair with a green yellow color pair with a red in second possibility orange color pair with a red yellow color pair with a green that means the each and individual alleles have segregate and assorted independently in their gametes nothing but a law of independent assortment both bowery and sutton have proposed the same mendelian principles in chromosomal theory of inheritance okay and also along with this principle they have also proposed parallelism or similarities between gene and chromosome because genes are always present on the chromosome when the behavior of chromosome and behavior of genes are most similar like this genes and chromosome first genes are occur in a pair you already told the mendel also show that genes are always occur in a pair for example capital p capital t okay these are the pair of alleles or capital t small p these are the pair of alleles okay and chromosome also occurs in a pair okay pairing of homologous chromosome during the time of segregation during the time of segregation 
gamut they are only consist to one allele of the pair okay in the pair gamut are consist only one allele capital v in heterozygous condition the gamut are consist only one allele either capital t or small t okay as it is in chromosome during the time of segregation gametes are consist only one chromosome from homologous pair only one chromosome for homologous pair next last one independent pair segregate independently in each other okay when you have consider more than one gene consider more than one gene just give an example capital y small y capital d small t heterozygous condition of more than one gene the genes are assembled independently in their gametes okay already told in the head cross okay each genes are assembled independently in their gametes the law independent assortment as it is in chromosome also segregate independently of another pair these are the similarities or parallelism between genes and chromosome okay genes they always resembles the behavior of chromosome because genes are present on the chromosome okay this is the parallelism or similarities between gene and chromosome it is also one of the important question for two or three marks question next chromosome of the area of inheritance was also proposed by thomas and morgan is called as a father of experimental genetics because he conducted several experiments in genetics and proposed several laws okay thomas and morgan this is the th morgan and his colleagues he discovered the basic for variation what is the main basic main reason for variation in the sexual reproduction okay i already told the sexual reproduction how shows variation how they variations developed in sexual reproduction how their progeny are differ from their parents developed through sexual reproduction that can neatly explained by th morgan in chromosome theory of inheritance okay he discovered chromosome theory of linkage linkage means is a link or connect between the genes in a chromosome okay for example in within a chromosome many genes are present how the genes are interlinked okay it can be explained by th morgan like this just imagine it is a chromosome okay chromosome but the chromosome happens in many genes is a one gene is an another gene is another one gene how the genes are linked how the genes are interconnected that can be explained through linkage and recombination and you also explain the chromosomal mapping chromosomal mapping means the distance between the genes on chromosome how the distance shows variation okay it also explained by th morgan and they also explain the crossing over crossing over means exchange of chromatids between the homologous chromosome it can be studied in meiosis cell division facultin stage crossing over or the combination will takes place exchange of chromatid of homologous chromosome he also explain the crossing over and he also explain criss cross inheritance that means the character will skip from one generation that means one character will transfer from parents to her grandchildren okay it skip the one generation that type of inheritance is called criss cross inheritance that can be explained explained in later classes next he was awarded nobel prize for physiological work in genetics 1933 and he also called as a father of experimental genetics next the th morgan he used drosophila melanogaster 
for experimental organism for genetics because it is one of the wonderful organism for experimental genetics. It is commonly called as fruit fly or vinegar fly or Cinderella of genetics. Why this organism is called Cinderella of genetics? Because it is a have show some advanced characteristics like this. First characteristics. They can be grown easily in a laboratory. Okay, this organism can easily grown in a laboratory by a simple synthetic media like any fruit waste, food waste. Okay, these waste material can be used for growing the Drosophila in a laboratory. It's the main first advantage for use of these organisms in experimental techniques. Because Mendel used a pea plant. The pea plant is growing in a garden. It takes a nutrition and takes some time to grow their plant and it also depends on environmental factor. But these Drosophila is a small tiny fly, almost 2 mm in length. Okay, these organisms can easily grow in a laboratory by using a synthetic media or food waste or fruit waste. These organisms are commonly seen in our houses. Like when you have cut the fruit and place it for one or two hours, some flies are deposited on that fruit. The flies are but a fruit fly or drosophila. Second advantage, the lifespan is very short. Drosophila and other lifespan. They complete their life cycle within a two weeks. Nothing but then birth, growth, development, reproduction, all the events can be completed in a two weeks. The lifespan is a very very short. Third point, sexes are separate, male and females are separate, and they have shown sexual dimorphism. What do you mean by sexual dimorphism? Dimorphism means that organism can easily distinguishable by male or female by morphological features. In Drosophila are also easily distinguishable male and female by morphological features because female is larger than male. Female is larger than male and females have show some extra characteristic ovipositor. The egg depositor is the ovipositor and male have spotted means these are the major dimorphism character can observe in Drosophila. That means they are easily find out the male and female. It helps for genetic study. Next, in one mating, okay, in one sexual intercourse, these Drosophila have produced many thousands of progenies in one mating. Okay, it will for increase their population or increase their colonies. Okay, in one mating they have produced thousands of progeny. Like they have shown several variations. This is a very very important for point for selected as a genetic organism. In genetics, I have studied about many variations. These organisms have shown several variations. Look at the picture first one. They have curly wings, short wings, yellow body, bony body, orange eyes. Wild type bar eyes, curved wings, curved abdomen, rudimentary wings. Okay, and also observe the variations in wings color. These are all variations allowed for genetical study. Okay, the last point number of chromosomes are very less. They have only consists 8 chromosomes or 4 pairs. Okay, in less in number therefore for easy understanding the genes and the chromosomal inheritance. Because the picture is the karyotype of Drosophila. Karyotype means arrangement of chromosome. In male have consists X, Y. These are the sex chromosome. Y represents the male. And the three autosomes, somatic chromosomes will be three pair, one pair will be allosome or sex chromosome. Male represented by XY and female represented by 2X chromosome. As it is like human beings, male represented by XY, female represented by XX, and remaining 3 are the somatic chromosome. Somatic chromosome as it is same in male and female. Only the difference is Y and X chromosome in sex chromosomes. Okay? These are the reasons for 
Morgan have selected a Drosophila. Drosophila is commonly called as Cinderella of genetics. Okay, by using this organism, we proposed linkage, crossing over. Okay, this linkage and crossing over can be discussed in next classes. Thank you, students.